AFO SAR TV travels to the University of Maryland, Baltimore County in Baltimore, Maryland, where one of AFO SAR's funded scientists is conducting research under the name of ghost imaging. I really start from uh, four years ago, uh, 2004. Uh, I believe that uh, the, uh, my student, that uh, Giuliano Scacciali, gave a talk, is invited to talk in a conference. Then uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Salgren was there. He probably was pretty excited about, <laughs> about what he talked. And uh, it's very interesting about uh, very fundamental uh, quantum mechanics, interesting behavior, and uh, that uh, made him very interested. And then he started to talk with me and uh, really start from there. In layman's terms, ghost imaging is similar to taking a flashlit photo of an object using a normal camera. The image forms from photons that come out of the flash, bounce off the object, and then are focused through the lens onto photoreactive film or a charge-coupled array. Dr. Shi has found a way to exploit uh, some new, newly discovered uh, quantum-related phenomena of light. In fact, his original interest, his main interest, seems to be uh, the field of quantum optics. Uh, so uh, what he, he's able to achieve is a, a manner of, of focusing or, or image creation without the standard tools that you would need in ordinary optics, such as lensing and so on. The unique feature here uh, relates to uh, certain uh, qualities that uh, come in when you're dealing with uh, uh, quantum effects, particularly photons that can have uh, interrelationships with each other Sometimes they're characterized by terminology, uh, superposition, interference, and entanglement. So um, photons that were created under similar auspices or conditions or maybe just close to each other uh, may possess some of these entanglement properties. Dr. Shi wants to exploit this in a manner of well, uh, normally when you take a picture of something, like you all are taking a picture of me now, you, you use the light that reflects off the object that you're uh, photographing. And in this case, you don't use that light uh, too directly. Yes, you, you collect uh, the, the light that is scattered off, let's say, the toy soldier in the image that we're trying to take the picture of. We're, we're um, essentially forming an Im image of this toy soldier. but. Uh, the, the light that you actually focus, or let's say, put it into a digital camera, an array of uh, light-sensitive uh, charge couple devices, uh, that's the light that emanated at the source. And you just kind of collect the light scattered off the toy soldier for statistical purposes and for comparison with that original light. Remarkably enough, you're able to reconstruct um, an image of the object. So if you talk about the actual object is there and the image is the picture that eventually appears on a piece of film and so on. The new ghost imaging technology is of interest to the Air Force because it may result in a more versatile use of field sensors and have applications to satellite technology. You, you might not have to image in the conventional way uh, the, the object that you're taking the picture of, you can just uh, maybe use some of the statistical properties of the light that's scattered off of it, and you end up taking a picture of the light source, whether it's actual light from the sun, or whether the so-called light is actually radar uh, coming from a radar satellite or something like that. Um, so let me mention that as a particular application that on a cloudy day or some other form of obscurance uh, take place, what normally would prevent the satellite from taking a picture, whether it's an optical picture or a radar picture, uh, you could somehow get around that uh, by, by pointing your camera in the opposite direction. And, but you would need to have some maybe ground-based resources of an entirely different nature. So it, would provide a lot more flexibility uh, using a combination of sources in this scheme as developed by Dr. Shi than we have at the present time. Dr. Shi's goal is to delve deeply into the physics of the ghost imaging phenomenon, complete the theory of that technology, and improve the technique toward practical, non-local sensing imaging applications, especially for the Air Force. I start my research 
from very fundamental point of view, like uh, the, the EPR problem from the 1935. And now, it's, we have very good result on this kind of ghost imaging. Okay, the ghost imaging, it could be very useful. So I would say that uh, I'll continue my research on fundamental physics, and of course, we can find a lot of applications. Thanks to Dr. Shogren's support and Dr. Shi's ghost imaging research, satellites of the future may be equipped with a detector and a camera that will take images of the Earth's surface even when there is inclement weather. To find out more about ghost imaging and other interesting science news, go to www.afmc.af.mil.